Hey, welcome everyone. It's Tuesday evening. I'm gonna do a, another painting. This one, I I just did this a while ago. It's a paint over. Uh, it was a painting that I never finished and I go, man, I'm gonna redo it. So check it out, it's on the uh, community page. It, it didn't look anything like this, but I mean, it had the mountains and the water and the hills, but I redid the whole thing. It came out pretty good. <clears throat> right now I'm using Windsor paint. This paint, you, you get a whole bunch of it. It's like 200 uh, milliliters, so. And it, it's fairly cheap, you know, and you get the nice large tubes. They last forever. But it's not my favorite, it's not my favorite paint to do uh, landscapes. But I got so much of it, so I'm going to use it up. I'm going to paint, uh, usually if I'm using Windsor Newton, we should put a uh, undercoat. Because <laughs> the paint doesn't cover very well. The viscosity is pretty low. But that's all right. We'll do something that's really like a, a washed down look. That's fine. Let's start with the, I think I'm going to do a quick one today. We'll do a, a low horizon here. Uh, I kind of want my mountain kind of, it's not low, is it? <laughs> We'll have to pull it up a little. Maybe if I make it bigger. A big mountain. Yeah, we'll just make them a little bigger. And I will bring that uh bring it down to the horizon here. That's good. Alright, so we'll have let's put some peaks in here. You can already see this burnt umber. It's not as dark as like the burnt umber I use with uh, other companies. Although I didn't put any black in it. Let me put a little black in it. Maybe that'll uh, help the sketch out a bit. <coughs> Darken it up a bit. Yeah. All right, so we'll have three peaks here. Let's put a let's put a hill over here coming down right to about there. Maybe a couple of hills. We'll have like a, a weird edge right there. And then we'll put a small hill over here, coming into the center. And this will be our, our valley down in here. I kind of want to make it a simple one today, so... Uh, Let's run, maybe we'll run some kind of pathway around here. From way back here, through here, and maybe right out, right out the picture there. Some kind of pathway there. And then we'll have uh, some, just some hills coming down here. And we'll just line our pathway with some bushes and stuff here. There we go. There's the uh, simple sketch. This will be grass. We'll probably put some bushes here and a big tree over here. Let's get started. I'll show you the colors I got. Look at their sap green. That's why I was saying uh, their sap green is a little lighter than what I'm used to. So I had to darken it up already. I put burnt umber in it. 
and a little black. That's how it looks uh, out of the tube uh, from uh, Utrecht. Right out of the tube, sap green. It's already dark for you. But Windsor Newton sap green. It's really light. So I want this to be a dark painting, believe it or not. Uh, you can see all these colors look bright, but I'm, it's not going to be a bright painting. I want to make dark skies, a dark mountain, a dark tree. They're uh, really dark. So I made my own. Uh, this is black, but I put a little blue in it and a little white. It's almost like I tried to make my own uh, Payne's Gray. Let's get started. I'm just going to, I uh, got, this is ultramarine blue and some white. Let's mix that up a little. And we'll put some blue up in the sky. I'm just going to mix with my brush because I know I'm going to put a lot of paint up here. kind of a weird angle today. I'll try some of my gray. There's that dark I was talking about. I want to have a uh, Some dark spots in the painting. Dark clouds. Look at that. Not liking that blue. I got some other blue here. Uh, I think it's uh, cobalt blue. Yeah. This is too. Not liking that color for some reason. Let's just lighten it up. There we go. Get rid of that bright, that bright blue. I'm not liking that color for this painting. I'm just painting from my mind. I just sketched that just now. And what I'm doing right now, I'm just going to get my colors put in. And then, then we'll see what happens after that. So I'm pretty much using the the cobalt blue now instead of the ultramarine because the ultramarine is really it's a really bright blue and this is this is what I wanted a gray sky when I put the clouds up there it's gonna look pretty awesome We'll put some uh, white, but white clouds and uh, some gray clouds, okay? I have water over here. Occasionally, I'll stick my brush in the water 
to uh, get the paint to flow better. Or it's good to make sharp lines like that <clears throat> to get close. like a nice sky let me uh let me stick a little blue in here a little blue all right let me rinse my brush off i'm gonna blend that in now This is Windsor Newton paint, so what I'm going to do is kind of get a little blend on it. So I can get every, every little spot covered where I see white underneath. I don't want any white to show through. Because there's no underpaint. And we're going to get it totally covered. That's a nice, that's a nice dark sky. I really like that though. Wow. That looks pretty good actually. Uh, I'm getting a little light glare here. Let me adjust the camera here a little. Yeah, that came out pretty good. Like I said, I got so much, got so much Windsor Newton paint. It's unbelievable. I got to use it up. I'm going to try the Payne's Gray I made. I took some black and put some blue in it, cobalt blue and some white. Let's see what it looks like up here. Let's edge. When you, when you do these mountains, edge your mountain pretty good. Wet. Get your brush wet. I just pulled this out of the water, so it's already wet. And let's make the tops of our mountains really smooth, okay? And you'll get that effect with uh, if you wet your brush. Okay. See how it's really nice and clean cut now on the top? Because if I don't put snow up here, then the, the, the top edge will be uh, all finished. Okay. Let's get a nice finished edge on top. And then we'll start bringing the color down now. <clears throat> it's black and it has some blue in it, cobalt blue. So it's not totally black. It's my gray that I made up. And if you do the same thing, it'll be your gray. You could use any blue in there. Look at that though. Look at that mountain on that uh, sky. Doesn't that look cool? It's almost like uh, we could say the sun already went down and this is going to be a, a dark painting. Maybe we put the moon up there somewhere. And we'll do a moonlight painting. <clears throat> Look at those mountains. So the black and blue, it seems to cover pretty good. I don't see any white underneath trying to sneak through. I mean, I don't hate 
the Windsor Newton paint, but it's not my favorite for uh, landscapes. But I'm going to try and make this look like an oil painting for sure. So, instead of using white down here to lighten my mountain, I'm going to use uh, the blue I used from the sky. Let me rinse my brush off. I got a lot of black on my brush. So here's what we're going to do. Take a little bit of your blue and put a little white in it. You're going to get like a, a light blue. Now come down here at the bottom of your mountains and put some blue in at, just at the bottom. And let's bring it down into this valley. Remember the valley I showed you, that V shape? Bring that color down. Just get it covered. Just uh, fill it in. We're just blocking in the color here. Put a little blue at the bottom of your mountain. And then bring it down into this valley here. Just like that. Now blend the top part of that line up there where the blue and the black are meeting. Just blend it. Blend it together into the mountain. Until you get it to uh, kind of disappear into the mountain. Very good, just like that. So we got a lighter color down here in the valley. Look at that little light sh shining through on the back side of that mountain there. You see that? Doesn't that look cool? It's part of the uh, burnt umber from the mountain peeking through right there. Let me do this. Um, I introduced a new brush into my painting today. This is a Royal Lang Nickel. It's a number two uh, round. I'll take a little bit more of that burnt umber. I'm going to try white, because I think I'm going to put the moon up there. I'm going to put the moon up there somewhere. Yeah, that didn't work. Still kind of wet. The black is still wet. All right, so let's put our hills in now. So this is way too bright, the sap green that comes out of tubes. So you got to do something with it. I I put burnt umber in it here and some black. Uh, let's see what it does on this small hill here because this one's going to come down in front we'll have we'll have this little we'll have a hill right here we'll make it dark because i want uh this to be a dark painting this is sap green with burnt umber in it and just just block it in with your brush just this is called blocking it in with color just block it in for now and we'll decide what we're going to do with that in a little bit uh 
I like how it's dark though already, so that looks good. I'm going to change the position of this hill. I always seem to run them up like this. Today I'm going to kind of run it almost straight and then down or maybe at an angle and then bring it down. Just so it just doesn't always look like it swoops down, okay? Just that little angle there really changed the way that looks right there. You see that? That looks uh, really cool. Yeah, I like that. So keep that in mind when you're painting. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. I got some cool ideas coming up, which is going to have to do with little paintings like this. Uh, these are so small. These are called gallery style. And you can have, the people can put them on their desk instead of hanging them on the wall. Uh, and I'm going to do a whole bunch of these because I sell. I sell a lot of paintings, by the way. And they're all landscapes. That's why I'm trying to show you some of my techniques. Uh, I sell a lot. And uh, that's a new idea I'm doing because... The customers out there, they don't all want just, they want different sizes. So if you're going to be selling your paintings, you got to do them on all different sizes, okay? My back is sore today. This 16 by 20, I just found that this one's pretty good for doing the videos. Because my iPad, it fits in there pretty good the uh, the shape of that <coughs> canvas you know you put some bubbles on I I moved them the other day yeah look at that isn't that cool do you guys have these bubbles on your your uh, videos they're pretty cool then I also got dance lights <coughs> I'm playing with the uh, functions all right so now I'm gonna put another hill over here probably I forgot I was gonna have There's a pathway here. I'll have to add it in here. Then around. Uh, I'm going to use green here. This same green. But I'm going to ch change the color a little bit. So, I got some here that I just put burnt umber in it. What I'm going to do now is take some yellow ochre and mix it in that sap green over here. It's going to make a cool color. It's going to be green like uh, when grass goes dormant for the season. Now let's put that over here on this hill. It's going to be like a golden color once it's in all the way. Now, same thing. Let's just block this hill in. I'm going to wet my brush a little and block it in. These are all earth tones. Uh, 
if you use the earth tones on your paintings, it, it should come out looking pretty decent, okay? Once you start using uh, greens and colors you don't see out in nature, then your painting is going to look more like a cartoon. Uh, I don't have one nearby to show you. Uh, oh, here I did the Last Supper <laughs> in a I did the Last Supper like an abstract. Those are Windsor Newton colors, same paint, but the way it, you uh, mix and choose your colors, see that looked more like a cartoon, didn't it? This looks more like uh, nature. So, if you use bright colors, it's going to look a little different. And you kind of want different shades in here. Like, I'm going to grab a little dark green here. Just the green. And add a little green in here. Just to get some different flavor. On that hill okay just like that there's a lot of different values in there now I want to lighten up the very top I'm going to use just the blue instead of white and uh, Lighten up just the top part of this hill with blue all the way down and then blend it in very lightly. <clears throat> this looks pretty good. I'm going to take a little bit of that blue and also put it on the top of this hill rinse your brush off grab a paper towel and then blend that in to the hill It should make it look like uh, the top of the hill now. Yeah. So if I want to put a tree up there, I would put it like right there. All right, so I'm going to make this the foreground right here really close. This is going to be some kind of pathway it looks like that's going to go down. Uh, so this pathway I'm going to put in... Uh, a mixture of uh, burnt umber and yellow ochre. Burnt umber and yellow ochre. It's a really cool color. It's like a golden color. I'm going to wet my brush, add a little yellow to it because I want it to look like gold, like a golden color. And let's just put a pathway here. Mix a brown in it too, burnt umber. Get the colors to mix in there. It's almost like doing a river, but it's dirt instead of water. And you can also we'll put a little white on the top of it. And lighten it up on one side. I'm just doing it real quickly because uh, I'll do it again with a knife. I just want to show you uh, to lighten one side of the pathway. It looks like the light's hitting on that side over there. 
and you keep this side dark. Okay. But I'm still throwing in my underpaint. I'm not even done with the underpaint yet. All right, let's make these uh, the same color. Uh, this dark green we used for that hill. So I'm going to not even rinse my brush off. I'm just grabbing that dark green. And let's fill this in. It's the same green as that hill. I'm getting a phone call from Lisa. You gotta wait till I'm done. <laughs> so this will be that sap green over here. Just blocking it in, just blocking in the color. Try and put it on heavy because uh, we don't want the canvas to show through. Use less water. At this point in the painting, you don't need to use water anymore, okay? Because these areas are so small and the paint can cover them very easily. As, as we move on in the painting, now we want to use more paint. More paint, less water, okay? This is just the underpaint. Now, the paint that we're going to start putting down now will be really heavy, okay? We want to get heavy on the paint now, if that makes sense. Man, look at that. Man, that looks awesome. I got to text uh, Lisa real quick. When I'm done with All right, doesn't that look cool, guys? That's the that's the landscape right there. Man, look at that mountain. Don't those mountains look cool over that that dark sky? Man, this is awesome. I know you guys can do this. If you haven't bought your paint yet, you need to go buy some paint. And your brushes and canvas. It's not that hard. I'm hoping that my voice is coming through because I got the charger in, in the speaker slot. Uh, so there it is. There's, there's the landscape. Now, what I'm doing now is looking at it. I'm looking at it to see. I see something really cool already. Uh, I can show you if you want. This this hill right here. How it looks like it's swooping and going back into the distance here. I'm going to line the top with some small dark color. And then get larger and larger over here and put some trees on there doesn't that look cool I, I can see that I'm sure you can see that too so that looks like a cool way to uh, design your uh, artwork okay uh, Let me show you what I also see. I'm glad there's three of you on here to see this, okay? Now, when you look at this right here, see this uh, light spot coming around? And it's tying in with this hill. I'm going to take this dark color all the way back. Back now and it's going to look like this hill runs 
all the way back. Let's try it. Because I, I know what color this is. This is the dark sap green. So here's that light spot. It looks like it's lining up with this hill. So we'll do this. Then I hope it looks like uh, that it runs off way into the distance. Can you see that? Yeah, it does. Now, also, I lost somebody right here, this line. See how it's going back to the distance as well? We could, uh, let's just add some dark color in there to define it. So you can see it is what I'm doing. And we could put some trees here, larger down to small, okay? And this whole valley here will look like it's going off that way okay let's see what else we see in there that looks pretty good yep 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 so so what this is going to be now is some kind of ledge back there i'll take some light gray very light gray. I guess this is where a flat brush comes in handy. I don't know how light I want to make this. like that okay so this hill now goes from here whoop up there whoop all the way back that looks pretty cool all right guys i'm gonna start painting now i just wanted you to see kind of like what i can see in there all right It'll help you out in the future when you start doing your own uh, landscapes. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm just going to put small bushes of small trees up there uh, I don't want anything like big up here I'm just gonna line maybe a small tree just on the right here just a small tree like that <clears throat> I want to keep that the hill like that because I'm gonna have trees coming over here now right, let's put those trees in like I was telling you uh, but I'm just gonna do it from here up so actually I'm gonna just brush it in it'll look better get yourself your uh, Around number two. A 
I'm using the same color, but it has a little black in it now. So I want to have some uh, trees coming from here. I'm just going to line the bottom first. All right, we'll keep it small here. And now we're going to start getting larger over here. And we're going to make some trees now over here. get my fan brush now oh, I know what I'm gonna have to do is take this up and behind the hill maybe let me see let me see how this is gonna work Oh, that'll work. Just fill it in with uh, round tops up there. That'll work. I didn't see it at first. But I, I see, see the idea. But now I can see it actually working now. Okay, those are trees in there. Wow, that looks really good, dudes. People, look at that. Just uh, round tree tops. I'm not doing any uh, any uh, evergreen trees back here. So this hill now is we could try and turn those in the trees going all the way back now uh, I don't have a small enough uh, fan brush though but I'll just do a, a little here just so it looks like those are trees going all the way back into the distance look at that that looks amazing. All right, now I'm going to do this row of trees way in the back here. I'm going to use, uh, that's an oil brush I'm using, by the way. Oil fan brush. And now I'm going to get a uh, an acrylic fan brush. Have you ever used an acrylic fan brush? They're real flimsy. <laughs> uh, trying to find a small one. This is the smallest one I got. They're real flimsy and they don't keep the shape very well, but if I don't wet it, Maybe it'll be all right. So now I'm using uh, sap, the sap green color for these 
tree is way in the back here and I'm going to run some trees going off into the distance back here. It's a sap green I made with, uh, it has some burnt umber in it. What's good about this brush, it's really skinny and I can get in there and make, uh, make the line real small going back to make it look like it's going off into the distance there. And we can make them a little bigger over here. And smaller as it goes in the back. There we go. Ah, oh, I just had a focus. There we go. I can't believe I lost everybody. Maybe the internet's messing up. Is that what's going on? I know it went out of focus there for a second, but... Forty-six minutes, uh, and I got a pretty good design here. I'm gonna finish this row of trees going to the back now with this other fan brush. Look at that. It's looking good. I think I'm going to leave the mountains dark. What do you think? Let's put some uh, bushes right here on the top of this hill. Or grass or whatever. Just some grass. dark grass up here. Now I'm going to run a, a few trees over here. I'm going to go ahead and put an evergreen tree here just to see what it looks like. Might have to get in the front here. All right, I'll probably have to uh, highlight it. <clears throat> I'll probably have to highlight these trees, but
I just want to have something over there. Uh, I'm going to let it dry for a second, then I'll highlight that. Oh, everybody's back. Good. <laughs> Nobody's chatting today, though. I'm checking the chat, but nobody's saying hello or anything. I quit smoking uh, way back in uh, July, so it's been... July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. It's been almost eight months that I quit smoking. So I'm happy about that. I uh, I can breathe a lot better. I call that uh, putting on a dress, okay? It's the same color I used. I just put a little white in it. A little bit of white in that dark green. And it, it lightens the green up to highlight it. So the moon is probably going to be over here. And this is called uh, putting on the dress. Putting on a dress on that tree. So you can actually see it. I left this, the other side dark. All right, looking good. I'm thinking about putting uh, a uh, a big tree over here, but not not an evergreen tree, like uh, a tree with a bunch of. Uh, branches on it maybe a dead tree a dead tree right here and then the moon the moon probably right in here where this mountain is curving we'll put the moon i'm thinking right there and it'll look like this could catch the moon right there maybe a like a three-quarter moon It almost looks like the moon already went down here and it's coming up from behind the mountain or it's going down. See that white around that big peak? Yeah, I almost wish I didn't put these... Uh, in now they don't really match with those trees there they really don't uh, but it is what it is I'm gonna put some hills on here real quick How am I going to do this? I use a burnt, burnt umber with some black in it.
ba da ba 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 some hills here. Put a row of bushes up there. I got stuck using this uh, fan brush now. <laughs> the uh, acrylic fan brush. I'm going to put the tree over here now. I need something in the uh, foreground because the uh, I'm not able to see what I want as far as design right now. If I put this tree in here, going to help me design something here. Love me down the line. It's getting there. I usually don't uh, do these kind of trees because, I mean, they, they take uh, a while. They take a while to put the trunks in, so... I think it needs to be a little taller. That's all I'm going to do. That way I don't bore you with the, the trees. I think what I need to do now is uh, <clears throat> I 
I need to uh, bring it, either do the clouds or do some bushes down here. I think I'm going to do the bushes. So I got sap green, sap green with uh, black in it. Okay, let's put a few bushes around this pathway. I put the bush in and then pull the bottom to the right. And let's put a few bushes like going off into the distance here. Do one bush at a time, and you kind of want to get smaller as you go back. Do one bush, and then pull the back bottom out a little, just like that. And then finally the last bush here. See how it you got to do it on an angle if you if you follow the line like this like a beginner would do a beginner would uh, just follow the angle but you got to keep your bushes horizontal and go back in a uh, horizontal angle okay let me highlight those there so you can see them. Take a little bit of white. Here's the dark color I just used. I just took a little white and put it in that dark color. And just use a light color to highlight these. Uh, I'll show you how I do it. Just barely touch the top with color first. Just a little. And pick out pick out your bushes in here like there's some in the front here there was a little bush here in the front see that maybe over here too there's one at the bottom here and then do a little on the top and when you uh, just touch your brush just touch it very lightly on the color and just on the top part we want to leave this bottom dark okay Let me zoom into that so you can see it hi That's better. I don't know. I didn't make them bright because uh, this is like I think at night time here. So, so I got a bush here in the front, low, and then I got one back here. Maybe that one way in the back there. So you could turn one bush into like three sections if you want. So I brighten this up just a little. We could add a little more brightness to these if you want, so they show up a little better. Just a little though. Don't over, don't overkill it with the white. It takes time to highlight your bushes like that because you got to be able to see where the bushes are at. But I think uh, once you do it a few times, you'll have it. 
right, I'm going to do these bushes over here and then I think I'm going to end the video because it's taking quite some time. Let's put some bushes here. You have to put the dark down first before you highlight them. So just run some dark color there. I like to pull the bottom into the pathway when I'm done. Just pull it into the path. It adds uh, more color to your pathway, too, see? See how cool that looks now, the pathway? <clears throat> All right, I'm going to let these uh, dry for a second, then I'm going to highlight them. Now, there is a technique. You could do wet on wet. You can, you can highlight those right now if you want. But the style I'm using right now is I'm laying color on top of color and it just uh, sets better uh, if you wait till it to dry. Like these are dry already here. Uh, I'm going to grab a little white. I would grab yellow if this was a daytime scene and you could put yellow highlights up here, but I'm thinking it's going to be the moon. So I'm going to put a little white on this uh, fan brush. Just a little white. It's kind of wet, the, uh, the brush. So I'm going to say I put the moon here. So some of that light would be getting through uh, some of these trees here. Uh, I'm just going to put a little light, like, maybe on each corner of the tree for now, just to see if this is going to work. Then you'll, you'll kind of see what I'm seeing. See, the light would be just barely coming through the, the sides of the trees. Okay? Not on the, the top part. So it's things you got to learn as you're... Well, wait. It's not in focus, is it? No. That's why everybody's leaving. <laughs> on hold on hold on Nelly I think I need to turn the painting into light more so it's in focus there we go that's in focus Very good. It's looking pretty good, guys. I hope you're liking this one. I kind of messed this hill up. I'll, I'll probably redo it, that hill, but everything else is looking good. Must have a dirty lens or something. It seems like it just keeps going out of focus. All right, I'm going to highlight these bushes for you. Uh, it's kind of a yellow ochre, greenish color. The whole thing just fell over. No wonder. That was weird. Oh, it's because I got the cord on there and made it heavy. <laughs> I didn't 
think that's good now, guys. I'm just going to have time to highlight these bushes and uh, because it's already been over an hour. So this is kind of like a yellow ochre in the sap green with a little white in it, a little white. So let's, uh, let's start with the small bush over here. Uh, I'm just going to highlight these like there's light over here, so you can kind of see. So I'm just going to touch my uh, fan brush on the top part very lightly. And I bring it down a little bit. But I want to try and let some of the dark color show through. You could do it in uh, different heights. Like there might be a bush in front of that one. And you can use different colors too. It takes a little practice, but you got to pick out where you think the bushes are. But you have to uh, you have to lay the dark down first before you can make a bush. And you got, want to add multiple colors. Uh, it's good to add some, maybe some yellow to those now, but I don't want, to, I want to keep it dark. So I'm just going to add a little sparkle with some white, titanium white. Like just a little sparkle on uh, some of these. You don't need much. I wouldn't do them all. Uh, just pick an area and put a little titanium white in that area. If you do them all white, it's not going to look good. It's not going to look right. Like maybe the light's coming right here. So you can also hit these in line with those. A little white, just a little. That's it. All right, guys, this is long enough. I I got a lot more to do on this painting, a lot more. The clouds. I got to decide if I'm putting a moon in there. But there's a lot of good things in here. How I figured out this hill going back in the distance. And it was, uh, trees and stuff back there going back. So, look at that scene. That's the mountain. Let me zoom into the mountain and those trees. Right there. That looks like a good painting already, right? Just right there. A lot to do, but thanks for watching. Let me see if anybody's talking. No talkers today. All right, guys, have a good one, and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.